Hi YouTube, Yang here this week bringing to you my spicy pure Dharmatica ritual deck. This deck is a control deck that aims to rip apart the combo deck's uh, extra deck so they can't play. Alright, let's go in with the monsters first. We got three Ecclesias. She's coming in the ultra, uh, ultimate rare, so get excited there. One Fleur. Then there's the Rituals. Three White Knight of Dharmatica. So ever since Lightning Overdrive came out, I've always been playing a pure Dharmatica strategy in, at Locos. It's really fun. Like this card just um, sitting behind this card and potentially a back row or two and a hand trap. It gets really annoying really fast. So what this card does is you usually put it in defense. Well, now that this card comes out, we don't have to put it in defense. I'll, I'll show that off in a minute. But yeah, we usually put it in defense because it's only 500 attack and it's only it's a 2,500 defense. So whenever they activate any card or effect, you get to send one card from their extra deck to the graveyard. You get to look in the extra, you get to pick. So if they act, activate like um, Fusion Destiny, for example, you can say chain this effect and look in their extra deck and send their Phoenix Enforcer. So they'll just fizzle their effects. It's, it's kind of hilarious that it works that way. <laughs> so they can't resolve it. But anyways, let's get on with the rest of that profile. We got two of the new cards that came out with the Battle of Chaos. I managed to pick all these up at Sneak Peek because uh, they were all low rarity. So that's very fortunate. White Relic of Dharmatica. So what she does is when she summon, she get to boost up him. Well, hopefully he's on the field. You, you get to boost up him to like uh, with Ecclesia, you get to boost up him to a 2000 attack so he can be in attack mode instead. And also while she's on the field, level eight or higher Dharmatica monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. And each time your opponent summons from the extra deck, you get to look in their extra deck and send one card from the extra deck. Yeah, it's um, basically another way to interrupt their extra deck. And then we got just one, uh, another normal summon. This is the fourth normal summon besides the Ecclesia. Basically to search out if you need a ritual monster or if you need a ritual spell. And then uh, we have some hand traps. Hand traps, always important. But no different this format. We got three ash, as usual. We got uh, two ogre. This is a new inclusion with the uh, adventure stuff coming out from Grand Creator. You usually just hit their faithful adventure, so they'll keep them off the Griffin Rider. And then we go to the spells. Still kind of mad. This is at two, but this hurts the deck consistency quite a bit. Yeah, if this was at three, this deck would be much more better. But we still make it work. This deck still has a lot of cards that plus one the deck. This is one of the cards. And then we have, speaking of plus one cards, we have the Extravagance. We never go into the extra deck and because uh, of the White Knight ritual, that locks us out of the extra deck. So we never need our extra deck. Then we have talking of plus one cards, another plus one card. So before the inclusion of um, Battle of Chaos, we, that we can't play this card because the Ritual spell doesn't specify White Knight. But now, with the Battle of Chaos, they release Dogmatic Habre. This has White Relic and White Knight's name on it, so you can pre prep search this, and uh, either of those Ritual monsters. And then we have the Lightning Overdrive card, Ritual spell. So this one, um, you can... Ritual summon by sending the required level. So if you're ritual summoning the white knight, the level eight, you send the level eight. Most likely Titan Glad, sometimes Omega, depending on the situation. And uh, I should explain this ritual spell too. This one you ritual summon from the, you can ritual summon uh, ritual monsters from the graveyard by tributing or banishing synchro or fusion monsters from the graveyard as the required cost. So this is really cool. Traps, we got three imperms. 
more hand traps basically. Basically, if we want to go second, we want to stall out their. So we want to weaken their board as much as possible because we're not very good at going second. And then uh, we got three punishments. We want to abuse this as much as possible. Then we got three summon limits. We go first and end on the white knight and um, summon limit. Pretty much win the game. There's no way they're outing that. And then we got three strikes. Just got these collector rares in. These these things are really beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that a little bit better there. Three strikes. The strikes could be more hand trap like three Nibiru, but I prefer strikes. And then let's, I'll show the extra deck. Extra deck is basically another, uh, another utility two box. So if they try to like uh, have a floodgate or something, you can they activate like skill drain or something you can chain the white knight white knight can send from either send from both extra deck so we can um send the the entes entes will pop like their skill drain or whatnot yeah because send one monster from our extra deck first and then you send one from their extra deck so white knight is really really powerful and then we have we just had like the Herald of Arc Light. So I'll show you the play later. You send this off of the Nadir Servants. This will grant you a plus two, I believe, with the Nadir Servant play. Nadir Servants will grab the White Knight, and then this will grab the Ritual Spell. Is that plus one or plus two? I don't know. We'll, we'll get there. And then just the uh, Fossil Warriors, Gold Knight, basically more utility, Graveyard. When it's this card's in the Graveyard, you get to banish it, pop a monster. Then we have the three Titanic Clad. No, two Titanic Clad, my bad. Two Titanic Clad. I don't have a third one, but I would play a third one. Then one Omega. And then one Wind Pegasus, just more utility. Furget, just to mulligan the hands. And then we got the two Cambro Blasters, the Paleozoic card. So, so you need interaction is if you have the White Knight and like like three or four set back row, if they go like Feather Duster or Twin Twister, any of those cards, you can chain the White Knight. We can send the Paleozoic card, and then at resolution of their Feather Duster or Twin Twister, you can just banish it to save your entire back row. Yeah, that's a very neat. Like your opponent does not know, the opponent will probably call a judge on that, but that, that that's how that works. But anyways, side deck. More hand traps, draws, just to stop the combo decks from progressing. And then we got Lancia, Phantom Knight's the big, big deal here. We'll stand by face shotgun this, so they'll shut off their Adventure package and they can't banish with the Phantom Knights. Against I like Eldritch, Block 8 decks, Evenly Ease. Then we have three Cosmic against that deck too. Then, last but not least, the three Kaijus against like any tower like monsters. You can just tribute over. Yeah, this could be like Lava Golden and Sphere Mode, but that locks you out the normal summon. So. So whatever so i'll show off a basic thing of what you want to st start here so any basically in com a combination of um any of these cards right here which your opening hand is going to be like you can have any of these cards you can be that one or it can be that one whichever so you go activate servant servant will send the arc light since arc light is 600 attack you have to add something equal to or less than the attack. So you can add, you cannot add Ecclesia, but since the ritual monsters are all 500 attack, you can add, add either or. And then Arc Light effect will add the Calamity ritual spell. And then you go Calamity, and then you'll send the Titania clad. So you end phase, you'll get a search of that. Let me make sure you guys can see everything here. That's the graveyard. And then you put that in attack mode. And then you'll normal summon 
Ecclesia. You always point them out first, because if they want to hand trap you, then uh, you can chain his effect. And then you get to send one from your extra deck and send one. So even if they hand trap you, as long as you have this, you can rip out a card from their extra deck. So you normal summon this, Ecclesia will search. You'll search for the white relic. And then you activate Cabre, Dalmatic Cabre. You can banish the Arc Light, and you can summon her in defense. And then when she comes out, you can pump up the Dalmatica White Knight by gaining Ecclesia's attack. So White Knight will be a permanent 2000 attacker and cannot be destroyed by battle since she's on the field. And then end phase, you'll have the Titanic clad to search for a flurry release. So basically that's the gist of it. You'll have two more other cards in your, in your hand or back row or whatnot, but that's the basic combo here. Yeah, that's, it's really nice. Like I've been playing this deck before the Battle Chaos stuff. I just feel like they're just missing that little bit of stuff. And having Cabre mentioning their names, being able to play pre-prep -pre helps the consistency a lot. Maybe that's why we only get two Nadir servants. So hope you guys enjoy this um, deck profile. Like and subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.